after studying this module you shall be able to know about general definition and basis of classification of carbohydrates know about straight chain and cyclic structure of carbohydrate chemical properties of monosaccharides and their derivatives types of disaccharides and their properties polysaccharides and its types and function of carbohydrates carbohydrates are an important class of naturally occurring organic compounds they occur naturally in plants where they are produced photosynthetically when the word carbohydrate was coined it was originally referred to compounds of general formula cn h2o and whole bracket n however only the simple sugars or monosaccharides fit into this formula exactly the other types of carbohydrates oligosaccharides and polysaccharides are based on monosaccharide units and have slightly different general formula carbohydrates are also called saccharides which means sugar in greek many commonly encountered carbohydrates are polysaccharides including glycogen which is found in animals and starch and cellulose which occur in plants now what is carbohydrate the carbohydrates are polyfunctional compounds they contain following functional group they can alcoholic hydroxy group aldehyde group and ketone group a precise definition of the term carbohydrate can be given as polyhydroxy aldehydes or polyhydroxy ketones and large molecules that produce these compounds on hydrolysis the above definition of carbohydrate is not entirely satisfactory it envisages the presence of free carbonyl group in simple carbohydrate molecule which is not true we understand that carbonyl compounds aldehydes or ketones react with an alcohol to form hemiacetal in carbohydrates we have an aldehyde group which combines with an alcoholic oh of the same molecule to form an internal hemiacetal we will also see that it is to by elimination of water between the hemiacetal oh group of two sugar molecules that larger carbohydrate molecule are formed in light of above the definition of carbohydrate may be improved as a polyhydroxy compound that is an aldehyde or a ketone function present either free or as hemiacetal or acetal classification of carbohydrates the carbohydrates are divided into three major classes depending on the number of simple sugar units present in their molecule in other words the basis of classification of carbohydrates will be the number of simple sugar molecules on hydrolysis the molecules so obtained may be of the same or different sugars monosaccharides the simple sugars these are single unit carbohydrates that cannot be broken down into simpler glucose and fructose examples the glucose when it is reacting with water gives no reaction oligosaccharides they are made up of 2 to 10 units of monosaccharides or simple sugars the oligosaccharides containing two monosaccharides units are called disaccharides and those containing three units are trisaccharides the sucrose having formula c12h22o11 is disaccharide because an on hydrolysis it gives one molecule of glucose and one molecule of fructose as shown in the reaction oligosaccharides with more than 3 subunits are normally found in glycoproteins such as blood group antigens polysaccharides they contain more than 10 monosaccharide unit in molecule thus one molecule of starch or cellulose on hydrolysis give very large number of glucose unit further classification of monosaccharides that is based on carbonyl function 
those containing aldehyde function are called aldoses and other containing keto groups are called ketoses as shown in the figure glucose is an aldose and fructose is a ketose. The next is based on number of carbon atoms. The monosaccharide contains 3, 4, 5, 6 etc. carbon atoms are designated as triosis, tetrosis, pentosis, hexosis as shown in table. For example, glucose is a 6 carbon sugar with aldehyde function is a haldohectose, fructose is a 6 carbon having ketone function is a ketohexose. We talk of enantiomers, diastereomers and epimers, the different isomers in group carbohydrates. The building block of all carbohydrates are simple sugars called the monosaccharides which can be an aldose or ketose. The simplest aldose glyceraldehyde has only one asymmetric carbon atom or chiral center at carbon 2 and only two possible of OH and H of the CH2OH unit are possible. If OH group is shown as projecting to left on penultimate carbon atom in a straight chain representation of the molecule, then by convention the molecule is called L isomer, while if the OH group is represented as a projecting to right, it is known as a D isomer. Diastereomers, glyceraldehyde has only one asymmetric center and the designation of D or L is determined by the orientation of H and OH groups about the carbon atoms. For carbohydrates with more than one asymmetric carbon atom, the prefix D or L refers only to the configuration about the highest number asymmetric carbon atom. For carbohydrate structure, each number of carbon is increased by 1 with the addition of CHOH group, a new carbohydrate is produced which has a chemically distinct form and completely different name because this group may be added as either OHCH or CHOH. An extra asymmetric chiral center is created within the molecule. So, aldotetrose have two chiral carbon at C2 and C3 and there are 2 raised to power 2 or 4 possible stereoisomer. Two of the isomers have the D configuration and the two have L configuration. The two D isomers have same configuration at C3, but they differ in configuration at other chiral carbon that is at C2. These two isomers are called D erythros and D threos. They are not superimposable on each other, but neither is they mirror images of each other. Such non-superimposable, non-mirror image stereoisomers are called diastereomers. Then epimers, the two L isomers or L erythros and L threos is the enantiomer of D threos and L threos is a diastereomer of both D and L erythros and L erythros is a diamer of both D and L threos. Diastereomers that differ from each other in configuration at only one chiral carbon are called epimers. Erythros and D threos are epimers and glucose, galactose and mannose are examples of epimers. Aldopentoses have three chiral carbon and there are two raised to power three or eight possible stereoisomers, 4D and 4L form. Similarly, aldohexoses will have 16 stereoisomers. Some of the possible stereoisomers are much more common in nature than others. For example, D sugars rather than L sugars predominate in nature. Most sugars present in the nature, especially in foods, contain either 5 
or 6 carbon atoms. We will discuss D glucose and aldohexose because it is the most abundant monosaccharide in nature. Then the cyclic structure of sugars, anomers, racemic mixture and muta rotation. An aldehyde and alcohol group can react together to form a hemiacetal and when this occurs within an aldohexose a 5 or a 6 member drink structure is formed. Both pentoses and hexoses form similar cyclic structures and it is as such that hexoses and pentoses exist predominantly in nature with only traces of the aldehyde or ketones form being present at equilibrium. The cyclic hemiacetal of an aldohexose is formed by reaction of the aldehyde at carbon 1 with a hydroxyl group at carbon 4 or 5 producing an oxygen bridge. Similarly, the cyclic form of the ketohexose is produced by reaction of the ketone group at carbon 2 with hydroxyl group at carbon 5. This introduces a new asymmetric center at carbon 1 and increases the possibility of number of isomers by a factor of 2. The configuration of this new hydroxyl group, the glycosidic hydroxyl group at the carbon 1 relative to the oxygen bridge result in two additional isomers of the original carbohydrate which are either designated as alpha form OH group represented on the same side of the carbon atom as the oxygen bridge or the beta form OH group represented on the opposite side of the carbon atom at the oxygen bridge. Such monosaccharides differing only in this configuration around the carbon atom to which the carbonyl group is attached are called anomers. These are two possible orientations of the hydroxyl group confer difference since in optical properties when the substance is present in the crystalline anhydrous form of the alpha D glucose has a specific rotation of 103 degree whereas that of beta D glucose is 19.7 degrees. However, either form in aqueous solution gives rise to a equilibrium mixture which has a specific rotation of 52.5 degree with approximately 36 percent being in the alpha form and 64 percent being in the beta form with only a trace present as the free aldehyde because it takes in several hours for this equilibrium to be established at room temperature. Any standard glucose solution for use with the specific enzyme assay, glucose by the oxidase which is specific for beta D glucose should be allowed to achieve equilibrium before the use. So that the proportions of each isomer will be same in the standard as in the test solutions. Muto rotation is defined as a change in specific optical rotation by interconversion of alpha and beta form of D glucose to an equilibrium mixture. Enzymes that accelerate the attainment of this equilibrium are called mutorotases and can be incorporated in assay reagents in order to speed up the equilibrium formation. The cyclic forms adopted by the hexoses and pentoses can be depicted as asymmetrical ring structure called Howard's projection formula which gives a better representation of the special arrangement of the functional groups with respect to one another. The nomenclature is based on the simplest organic compound exhibiting a similar 5 or 6 membered ring as pyran and furan. The stable ring structure which are adopted by hexoses and pentoses are 5 members and 6 members and contain an oxygen atom they are named as derivatives of furan or pyran which are the simplest organic compounds with similar ring structures. Example glucopuranose and glucopyranose for 5 or 6 membered ring structures of glucose respectively. The ring is considered to be the planar 
with substituent groups the projecting above or below the plane. The thick line represent the proportion of the ring that is directed out of the paper towards the reader. The alpha and beta anomeric forms are shown with the hydroxyl group at carbon 1 below or above plane of the ring respectively. Galactose however as well as some other aldohexoses does exist in appreciable amounts in the furanose form in solution and as a constituents of polysaccharides. Ketosis may also show ring configuration and the ketohexose fructose exists as a mixture of furanose and pyranose form with latter form predominating in the equilibrium mixture. However, the configuration of fructose when it occurs as a constituent of a disaccharide or a polysaccharide is usually the furanose form. In the symmetrical ring structures depicted by Howard formula, the ring is considered to be planar and the configuration of each substituent group represented as being either above or below the plane. Those groups which are shown to the right of the carbon backbone in the linear representation are drawn below the plane of the ring and those which are originally on the left are drawn above the plane. An exception is hydrogen attached to the carbon 5, the hydroxyl group of which is involved in the formation of oxygen bridge, which is drawn below the plane of the ring despite the fact that in the linear representation of the D form, it is shown to be the left. The orientation of the hydroxyl group at carbon 1 determines the alpha or beta designation and it is shown below the plane for the alpha form and above the plane for the beta form. The planar Howard projection formula bear little resemblance to the shape of the 6 membered pyranoses that actually adopt a non planar ring conformation comparable to that of the cyclohexane. The chair form is the most form of the sugar in solution cyclizes into ring. The pyranoses adopt a non planar ring conformation and the chair form with the highest number if equatorial rather than the hydroxyl groups are favored. It should be noted that a D glycopyranose in contrast to D beta D glucopyranose has an axial hydroxyl group. The designation means that the hydroxyl group attached to C1 is below the plane of the ring, beta means is the above the plane of the ring. The C1 carbon is called anomeric carbon and so the alpha and beta forms are anomers. Chemical properties of monosaccharides, some of the important chemical properties of monosaccharides are first action of acids and alkalis. Action of acids, on heating a sugar with mineral acid like sulfuric acid or HCl, the sugar loses water and forms furfural derivatives. These may condense with alpha naphthol, thymol or risocinol to produce colored complexes. This is the basis of Mollis test, Selvinoff test, Biles test and Tollens fluoroglucinol HCl test. Action of alkalis, on treatment with dilute aqueous alkalis, both aldoses and ketoses are changed to indiols. Indiol is the enol form of a sugar because two OH group are attached to the double bonded carbon. Indiols are good reducing agents and form basis of the Benedict's test and failing test. Thus, alkali enolizes the sugar and thereby causes them to be strong reducing agents. Through the formation of a common 1,2 indiol glucose fructose and mannose may isomerize into each other into dilute alkaline solution. Oxidation and reduction of sugars, oxidation of sugars, when aldoses oxidize under proper condition they may form aldonic acids, saccharic acids and uronic acid. Oxidation of an aldose 
with hypobromous acid which acts as an oxidizing agent gives aldonic acid. Thus glucose is oxidized to gluconic acid. Oxidation of aldoses with nitric acid under proper conditions converts both aldehyde and terminal primary alcohol group to carboxyl form forming sacric acid. When aldose is oxidized in such a way that the terminal primary alcohol group is converted to carboxyl without oxidation of the aldehyde group, uronic acid is formed. Oxidation of alpha D glucose hemiacetal to give a lactone, deposition of a free silver as silver mirror indicates reaction that has taken place. Reduction of sugars, both aldoses and ketoses may be produced by enzymes or non-enzymatically to the corresponding polyhydroxy alcohol called algitols. Mannitol, the sugar alcohol derived from mannose is frequently used medicinally as an osmotic diuretic to reduce cerebral edema. Sorbitol, the sugar alcohol derived from glucose often accumulates in the lenses of diabetes and produces cataracts. In the cyclic form, the compound produced by oxidation of aldose, a cyclic ester linking the carboxylic group and one of the sugar alcohol. Osa zone formation. Osa zones are yellow or orange crystalline derivatives of reducing sugars with phenylhydrazine and have a characteristic crystal structure which can be used for identification, characterization of different sugars having closely similar properties like maltose and lactose. Osazone formed from glucose, mannose and fructose are identical because they are identical in the lower 4 carbon atoms. The osazone crystal of glucose and reducing disaccharides, lactose, arid, maltose differ in the form. Glucosazone are needle shaped, lactosazones are powder puff or tennis ball shaped and maltosazones are sunflower shaped. Non-reducing sugars like the disaccharides, sucrose cannot form osazone due to the absence of free carbonyl group in them. Glycoside formation. Glycosides are formed when the hydroxyl group of anomeric carbon of a monosaccharide react with OH or NH group of second compound that may be or may not be a carbohydrate. The bond so form is called a glycosidic or glycosyl bond or hemiacetal carbon can react with an alcohol to give a full acetal or glycoside. The newly formed bond is called glycosidic bond. The monosaccharides are joined by glycosidic bond to form disaccharides, oligosaccharides and polysaccharides. In disaccharides, the glycosidic linkage may be either alpha or beta. Depending on the configuration of atom attached to the anomeric carbon of the sugar. Two type of glycosides are O-glycosides with each sugar bonded to oxygen atom of another molecule and N-glycosides in which sugar is bonded to nitrogen atom. Glycosides derived from furanoses are called furanocytes and those derived from pyranoses are called pyranocytes. Glycosides are found in many drugs example in antibiotic streptomycin. Now derivatives of monosaccharides. Some important sugar derivatives of monosaccharides are phosphoric acid esters of monosaccharide, amino sugars, deoxy sugars, sugar acids, sugar alcohols, neuraminic acid and sialic acid. Phosphoric acid esters of monosaccharides, these are formed when the reaction of phosphoric acid with hydroxyl group of this sugar that is glucose 1-phosphate or glucose 6-phosphate. Importance, the phosphorylation of a sugar within the cell is essential to prevent the diffusion of a sugar out of the cell. Nucleic acid, RNA and DNA of a cell nuclei also contain sugar phosphates of ribose and deoxyribose. Amino sugars, amino sugars have a hydroxyl group replaced by an amino group or an acetylated amino group. For example, 
glucosamine, N acetyl glucosamine, galactosamine, and menosamine. Importance of amino sugar. Amino sugars are the components of glycolipids that is the ganglioside, glycoprotein, proteoglycans, several antibiotics, erythromycin, carbomycin contain amino sugars. Deoxy sugars. Deoxy sugar possesses a hydro atom, hydrogen atom in place of one of their hydroxyl group. Example, 2 deoxyribose found in nucleic acid DNA. Sugar acids are produced by the oxidation of monosaccharides, for example, ascorbic acid or vitamin C, which is not synthesized by human being is required for the synthesis of collagen. It acts as a water soluble antioxidant. Glucouronic acid that is a uronic acid. Sugar alcohols discussed in the properties of monosaccharide reduction, they are not the metabolically very active but have some medical importance in that they are used as a non-glucose forming sweetener in foodstuffs for diabetics. Sorbitol and xylitol are the most commonly used. Neuronamic acid is a 9 carbon sugar derived from monosamine and epimer of glucosamine and pyruvate. Sialic acid are acetylated derivatives of neuraminic acid in which amino or hydroxyl group is acetylated. Importance, sialic acids are the constituents of both glycoprotein and glycolipid. Now coming to disaccharides, disaccharides consist of two monosaccharide units. They are crystalline, water soluble and sweet to taste. They are subclassified on the basis of presence of or absence of free reducing group. Reducing disaccharides with free aldehyde or keto group, example maltose and lactose. Non-reducing disaccharides with no free aldehyde, no keto group, example sucrose. Reducing sugars, maltose contains two glucose residues joined by a glycosidic linkage between C1 of one glucose residue and C4 of the other, leaving one free anomeric carbon of the second glucose residue which can act as a reducing agent. Thus maltose is a reducing disaccharide. The numerical description like 1,4 of glycosidic bond represent the number of carbon atoms that connect the two sugars. The sugar contributing anomeric carbon is written first. The maltose is produced as an intermediate product in the digestion of starch and glycogen by the action of enzyme alpha amylase. Isomaltose, it consists of two glucose molecules held by an alpha 1,6 glycosidic bond. Isomaltose is a disaccharide derived from the digestion of starch or glycogen. It is hydrolyzed to glucose in the intestinal tract by an enzyme called isomaltase. Lactose, it is present in milk. Lactose contain one unit of beta galactose and one unit of beta glucose that are linked by beta 1,4 glycosidic linkage. The anomeric carbon of the glucose unit is available for oxidation and thus lactose is a reducing disaccharide. Lactose is hydrolyzed to glucose and galactose by the lactase enzyme in human being. Non-reducing sugars, the sucrose, the common table sugar, sucrose is a disaccharide of glucose and fructose. It is found by plant but not by human beings. Sucrose is an in, in, intermediate product of photosynthesis. Sucrose is a commonly used stable sugar. In contrast to maltose and lactose, sucrose contain no free anomeric carbon atom. The anomeric carbon of both glucose and fructose are involved in glycosidic bond. Sucrose is therefore a non-reducing sugar. Sucrose is hydrolyzed to fructose and glucose by an enzyme sucrase which is also called invertase. Polysaccharides, carbohydrates composed of 10 or monosaccharide units are and their derivatives such as amino sugars and uronic acids are generally classified as polysaccharides. Polysaccharides are colloidal in nature, 
in polysaccharides monosaccharide units are joined together by glycosidic linkages another term for polysaccharide is glycans polysaccharides are sub classified in the two group homopolysaccharides the or homoglycans when a polysaccharide is made up of several units of one and the same type of a monosaccharide unit it is called a homopolysaccharide heteropolysaccharide is a heteroglycan they contain two or more different kinds of a monosaccharide units and their derivatives homopolysaccharides or homoglycan starch it is a storage form of a glucose in plants that example in potato in grains and in seeds in many fruits starch is composed of two constituents amylose and amylopectin amylose is a linear form of d glucose unit joined by alpha 1,4 glycosidic linkage and amylopectin is a structurally identical to those of amylose but with a side chain joined by alpha 1,6 linkage the amylopectin is a branched polymer having both alpha 1,4 and alpha 1,6 linkages the branch point in amylopectin are created by alpha 1,6 linkages and occur at an interval of 20 to 30 units of glucose dextrin partial hydrolysis of starch by acid or alpha amylase produces substance known as dextrin these also occur in honey all dextrins have free aldehyde group and can show mild reducing property they are not fermented by yeast glycogen the animal starch glycogen is the major storage form of carbohydrate in animal found mostly in liver and muscle it is also called animal starch the structure of glycogen is similar to that of amylopectin except that it is more highly branched having alpha 1,6 linkages at interval of 8 to 10 glucose units the main difference between glycogen and amylopectin is that glycogen is more highly branched branch point occur every 10 residues and glycogen and about every 25 residues in amylopectin in glycogen average chain length is 13 glucose residues at the heart of every glycogen molecule is a protein called glycogenin functions the function of muscle glycogen is to act as readily available source of glucose for energy within the muscle itself liver glycogen is concerned with the storage of and maintenance of blood glucose cellulose cellulose is the chief constituent of cell wall of plants it is an unbranched polymer of glucose and consists of long straight chains which are linked by beta 1,4 glycosidic linkages and not alpha 1,4 as in amylose since humans lack enzyme cellulase they can hydrolyze the they cannot hydrolyze the beta 1,4 glycosidic linkage cellulose cannot be digested and absorbed and has no food value unlike starch however the ruminants can utilize cellulose because they have in their digestive tract microorganism those enzyme which hydrolyze enzyme cellulose importance of cellulose for human cellulose has nutritional significance cellulose is a common fiber in the diet although there is no metabolic requirement for the fiber yet high fiber diet is associated with reduced incidence of number of diseases like cardiovascular disease colon cancer diabetes and so on cellulose is present in undefined cereals it increases bulk of stool and intestinal motility acts as a stool softener and prevents constipation inulin is a polymer of defructose linked together by beta 1 2 glycosidic linkage it occurs in tubers of some plants bulb or onion inulin is not hydrolyzed by alpha amylase but it is hydrolyzed by inulinase which is not present in the humans so it is not digested in food heteropolysaccharides or heteroglycans glycosoaminoglycan or gag is an unbranched heteropolysaccharide made up of repeating disaccharides 
one component of which is always an amino sugar. Hence the name glycosaminoglycans either B glucosa amine or D galactosa amine. The other component of the repeating disaccharide is a uronic acid either L glucouronic acid or its epimer L it uronic acid. Thus GAG is a polymer of uronic acid and amino sugar. The polymer is attached covalently to extracellular proteins the core protein to form a proteoglycan. A resulting structure resembles a bottle brush. The association is stabilized by additional small proteins called link proteins. With the exception of hyaluronic acid, all the GAGs contain sulfate group. The amount of carbohydrate in proteoglycans is usually much smaller than found in glycoproteins and may compromise up to 90%, 95% of its waste. Glycosaminoglycans they are found in arterial walls, bones, cartilage. Functions of glycosaminoglycans. They are major components of extracellular matrix or ground substances. Glycoaminoglycans carry sulphate and carboxyl group which give them a negative charge and have special ability to bind to large amount of water. They lubricate joint both at the surface of cartilage and the synovial fluids. The viscous lubricating property of mucus secretions are also due to the presence of glycosaminoglycans which led to the original naming of the compound as mucopolysaccharides. The different type of glycosaminoglycans are hyaluronic acid, chondroitin sulphate, keratin sulphate and many. And the different types of glycosaminoglycan differ from each other in the following properties. The uronic acid composition, amino sugar composition, chain length and disaccharide polymer. The nature of the core protein to which they are attached. Now glycoproteins. The glycoproteins are the protein to which oligosaccharides are covalently attached to their polypeptide chain. Glycoproteins contains much shorter carbohydrate chain than the proteoglycans. The distinction between glycoprotein and proteoglycans may be based on the amount of carbohydrate. Glycoproteins contain less than 4% carbohydrate in the molecule and proteoglycans contain more than 4% carbohydrate. Functions of glycoprotein, the most important reproductive hormones are glycoproteins. Almost all plasma proteins of humans are glycoproteins. Many integral membrane proteins are glycoproteins. Two types of glycosides are oglycosides and each sugar bonded to an oxygen atom of another molecule and glycoside in which sugar is bonded to nitrogen atom. Glycosides are formed from furanoses are called furanocytes and those derived from pyranoses are called pyranocytes. Functions of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates have wide range of functions, source of energy for living beings that is glucose storage form of energy that is glycogen in animals and starch in plants serve as a structural components example glycoaminoglycans in human cellulose in plants and chitin in insects non digestible carbohydrate like cellulose serve as a dietary fiber constituent of nucleic acid like rna and dna example ribose and deoxyribose Carbohydrates are also involved in de detoxification example as glucouronic acid. Summary. Carbohydrates are polyhydroxyaldehydes and ketones. Monosaccharides containing an aldehyde group are called aldoses and those with keto group are called ketoses. Carbohydrates can be classified as disaccharides, oligosaccharides, polysaccharides consist of monosaccharides linked by glycosidic linkage. Sugars with free oxidizable anomeric carbons are called reducing sugars. If two monosaccharides isomer differ in configuration around one specific carbon atom with the exception of carbonyl group they are called epimers of each other. If a pair of sugars are mirror images of each other they are called enantiomers and designated as D and L sugars. When sugar cyclizes an anomeric carbon 
is created from the aldehyde group of an aldose or a keto group of a ketose, this carbon has a configuration either alpha or beta and if the oxygen on anomeric is attached and any other structure. Disaccharide consists of two monosaccharides joined by glycosidic linkage of lactose and sucrose. Polysaccharides, the glycans, they contain many monosaccharides unit in glycosidic linkage, example glycogen, starch in plants and glycogen in animals. Proteoglycans and glycosaminoglycans contain sugars derivatives such as amino sugars, uronic acid and sialic acid which are associated with the structural component of tissue. Proteoglycans are predominantly carbohydrate but also contain proteins. Glycoproteins are proteins to which carbohydrate chains are covalently bound. Many cell surface proteins and extracellular proteins are glycoproteins.